يا اغلى احباب امتى ترجع لمتنا شو كنا قراب والدنيا فرقتنا يا اغلى احباب امتى ترجع لمتنا شو كنا قراب والدنيا فرقتنا لكن لو غاب مرقاكم عن مهجتنا اخر الغياب رح نتلاقى بوعدكم آه كذا أو أرجع ورا أرجع ورا يلا شكرا Yeah, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I always stutter that. Uh, we are here with Abdurrahman, my cousin. Uh, we're actually not three up in it this time. We're actually only two up in it. And we are on our way to, believe it or not, you guys probably won't believe me where we're going. And I'm gonna have to set this one up nice and, I'm gonna have to set this one up nice and slow for you guys. Bismillah. We are actually on the motorcycle that you saw. Well, I'm not sure the video will be up before this video or not, but it's the it's it's the motorcycle. It's a brand new motorcycle, actually. My uncle just bought, and I'm breaking it in for him. And in order to break it in, the the guy at the bike shop told me to go for like a really long trip and leave it on for a while. So we just filled up. Put, uh, we just we just filled up. I said patrol in Arabic or the Arabic uh, way to say it. Short for petroleum, but the, the Arabs here call it petrol. Uh, I just filled up gas, and we're gonna go for a really long um, journey here. Not really long, like an hour away from Ib. And it's a city called, all right, brace yourselves, guys. Brace yourselves, relax, take a deep breath. It's not what you think. Uh, it's called, it's called Al-Qaeda. Al yeah, there's a, actually a town here, a small city called Al-Qaeda. Um, in Arabic, it's Al-Qaeda, but you know take it easy relax you know it's not what you think it is it's just the name of the city doesn't necessarily mean the city's full of terrorists or whatever you think al-qaeda does take a deep breath it's not what you think <clears throat> to save the the gas uh, to save the gas wow to save the, the the battery for my drift i'm gonna go ahead and cut the drift off uh, right now and I'll, I won't record a journey up to the city just because of the fact that I want to save as much battery as I can and uh, once I arrive uh, in Al-Qaeda I'll go ahead and and turn the drift back on uh, Wayne Saeed, Wayne Saeed, Abdurrahman? Tuwali? Yeah, it's a good one, right? It's a good one, right? Sebel. Um, yeah, uh, I'll leave it on for a little bit because we're about to enter a a road that is I have not. Of course, he's gonna go. Let me. He gave me a thumbs up because I have a camera. At least, or at least he knows what it is. Oh, the fellish. Manish bil awal was. Okay, for cover, brother. Oh, maybe my idle. I, I should have turned the idle key up a little fast. All right. I took uh, because because I ha I turned the idle the idle key or whatever. I turned it down too. Uh, I turned it down too much. He almost hit me. I'm so getting used to Yemen by now, guys. Like I'm not even like sweating it that he almost hit me. My heart is not even pounding that fast anymore. Just gotta go with the flow. Uh, my hair is in my eyes. That's not a good sign. All right, we're stuck behind this Mitsubishi. Shaklo, do you know what we did under the Yemeni? Shaklo, water is too much, right? It's too much. Why? Water. Tell me. 
تقول بعد ما يحمي ابنك هنا يكون تمام ان شاء الله Yeah, I was just telling like the idle, the idle key down there. Uh, I warmed up the bike, but this is like a brand new bike. Uh, by the way, guys, the uh, these green trucks. Hold the Houthis, sir. Yeah. Uh, these green trucks, if you see, all of them painted in green. I shouldn't point. That's kind of bad. I shouldn't. Like, uh, pointing here is not a good thing in terms of my safety i shouldn't be pointing but yeah if you see like a a, a car painted all in green it's uh the houthi rebels um, look at this guy. look how he's holding that that's amazing they're actually college students and he's holding his project uh behind the on the back like that yeah, subhanallah that's crazy but uh yeah the whole thing with uh the, the oh i'm on that's that's neutral let me go ahead and pull over to the side here. I keep getting sidetracked. See, I always try to stay on topic and just talk, but I keep getting sidetracked. Uh, well, once we get down this hill, I'll go ahead and do it. But I gotta go and turn the idle key back a little higher. I had it at like, I, I had it at uh, one and a half K, and then once it warmed up, I turned it back down to one K. But I, I think it should be, maybe it wants to, uh, Maybe it wants to rev a little higher. Uh, is this neutral? This is neutral. So let's just. It's this is the idle key down here. Ah, I can't do it. Okay, it's not necessary. Not necessary. Not necessary. Can I do it with my hand? Okay. Can I do it with my hand? Because I'm wearing glasses. طيب شوف وينه الان قاو قريب ل 2000 2000 هنا هنا تمام ها اعتقد هنا تمام اه اوكي يلا بسم الله توكلنا على الله اه يا ذاتس ا ليتل بيتر اي جيس but the whole situation with the Houthi rebels and you have, I don't, see, I don't want to see, maybe it's my lack of knowledge. I don't want to say anything that I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and look back at this video and say, wow, I was a complete idiot. It, maybe I just don't have a complete full knowledge of the situation here in Yemen. It's like, dude, you have the Houthi rebels, you have the actual army, like the army army, then you have like police officers, then you have the government, which was handed over by Ali Abdul Saleh to this to the Mansur guy or whatever. Then you have the whole Mansur dude who who has his own army. It's just like four, like four, and then you have like supposedly you have Al Qaeda and all these surrounding villages that are planning to take over the world or take over uh, the Middle East or you know their whole. See, I'm just basically repeating what I'm listening in the media, which is either good or bad. But I'm just doing it for your sake, because that's what you're used to hearing. When in actuality, who freaking knows what the hell's going on? Look, I'm here in freaking Ib, and I'm about to go, I'm about to, go to a city called Al-Qaeda. And it's like, this guy has his, his, his uh, emergencies on, I guess he's struggling. Well, he's chewing, God's chewing. And... It's like, dude, like the, the media hyped up this place so freaking much that it even got to me. I was a victim of their own, uh, their own, you know, scare, scare tactics. It's like Yemen isn't even as <laughs> scary as the media portrayed it because it's funny and, I, and, and I'm, kinda, I'm kind of a dumb to believe it too because I've been here so many times that I should actually know better. But the fact that it scared me just a tad bit and it got me worried about it kind of like really shows you how powerful the media can be in terms of portraying certain messages to, to the public. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it with this, with this, uh, with this uh, bike, yo. It's, it's a new bike and, yo, it's like barely, it's like 175cc. 
It's an Al Munif motorcycle, uh, Chinese made. Uh, Fasani. Okay. He's saying go around the roundabout to the left. Uh, yeah, these are these these are these bumps, yo. The problem is, is I gotta. He's got rocking the halox, man. These things are beast, yo. Huh? جاي ل ل ل عندك مشكلة لا لا أبي أبي أيجي اليوم من الحديدة يلا نشوفه إن شاء الله تقول بدنا نرجع قبل المغرب إن شاء الله yeah look at that view guys look at Yemen man look at it such a beautiful beautiful country and so sad considering you know the, the hands that it's in just considering its history in the past 30 years and where it's gone just down to down to you know political uh, corruption and the whole regime and 30-year regime and to think that Yemen is still intact is just it's, it's, it's an amazing uh, just goes to show you how strong and 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 strong-minded in, in their will it cannot be broken the Yemenites they, they're just too, they're too strong they're they have a really s strong sense of you know where they're from I knew that bus was coming look at look at that look to my right guys it's amazing isn't it Yeah, this is actually pretty fun. You know, uh, when I was here 10 months ago, I didn't really have the opportunity to to uh, look at this beautiful landscape in front of me. I keep getting cut off and just showing you guys the amazing landscape in front of us. These valleys and amazing vistas of Yemen is something just to, just to be in awe about. It's just amazing. And this thing's in first gear. I don't know if this bike's gonna make it, yo. It's a, See, I'm not, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really too, how can I say, I'm not really, I'm chunking my head to the right here so I can show you guys a view. I'm not really too knowledgeable how motorcycles work, unfortunately. I, considering like motorcycles has like been a huge part of my life for the past uh, five or so years, I should know my stuff, man. But I'm just, I just get so caught up in having fun riding them that I don't even spend time actually learning how they operate them in terms of like the mechanics and stuff. Supposedly we're supposed to be breaking this engine in, but yo, this engine is like, it feels like it feels like it's starving. Do I have my oil, my the fuel reservoir, the the it's it's, it's in the on position, like on off in its reserves. See, yeah, I know it's in an on position, and I let it warm up, but it's like it's like choking. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off right here and and continue on with this journey to uh, the city of Al-Qaeda and I'll get back to you guys hopefully when I get there and or whatnot let me see if I can reach and do this with my hand 